of the nativity gathers in person, we do so on the traditional territory of the neutral, Mississauga, Anishinaabe, and Haudenosaunee, shared through the dish with the one spoon wampum tree. Wherever we are as we join in this time of Christmas songs and stories, may we be renewed to strive for reconciliation with the First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. This is the first video in our four-part Christmas Songs and Stories celebration. In each part, we sing a carol, tell a story, have a short prayer, and then sing a second carol. Some of the stories are from scripture, and some are from more contemporary writers, helping us make sense of Christmas in the here and now. As we begin, we light the first candle in our Advent wreath. We eagerly await our celebration of Jesus coming among us. God of justice and peace, from the heavens you rain down mercy and kindness, that all on earth may stand in awe and wonder before your marvelous deeds. Raise our heads in expectation that we may yearn for the coming day of the Lord and stand without blame before your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child 
wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. We are an anxious people, a waiting people, God. We long for a new and powerful encounter with you. We wait in bondage through no fault of our own, entangled by distant forces of evil, by anger and greed we did not create, saddened by the waste and foolishness of our time. We come to drink of your power, to be set free, and we wait in bondage because of our own sin. Lead us beyond advertisements, which entice us to have much, that we might be open to receive much, to have time for personal relationships, to give thanks for creation, to allow your coming into our lives anew. And so we wait and wait, remembering your promise O promise fulfilling God. And we rejoice that you are more faithful than are we, that you tug us again into hoping and nudge us into life in your spirit. We wait then, as generations have waited, for the Christ who came among us, is among us, and will come among us. Amen.
your body be the stable. Let your heart be the manger. Let your life be the child's. With the blessing of the source of all being upon you, as the Spirit goes before you, and as Jesus lives within you. Amen. <laughs>